This video is for the bow hold, and the bow hold is a very important part of violin playing. It's the foundation of your sound. If you don't have a good bow hold, you will not produce a good sound. If you do produce a good sound while having a bad bow hold, there's a very, very high chance you are producing um, an injury in your body. If you're gripping the bow or you are holding it like this, you're causing so much tension in your right forearm and in the tendons in your arm and in your hand. So the bow hold needs to be strong, but it also needs to be relaxed. So this is why the bow hold needs to be worked on every single day. And you'll get there, it's going to get easier. So let's talk about the basics. So as we've been working on, your pinky is on its tip. Um, it's not on the end screw, which is this silver screw here. It's next to it and it's on its tip. Your index finger, which is your pointer finger, is resting, relaxed on the bow grip here, and it's resting on its first in, uh, knuckle here, and it's nice and relaxed. And then your middle and ring finger are hugging the frog, and your ring finger, I like to tell my students that my ring finger is covering the eyelet or it's right next to it. The eyelet is this little circle right here. So your bow hold is nice and relaxed, and your fingers are soft. Imagine when you're playing and you're holding the bow that, imagine something soft, feathers, pillows, clouds, whatever helps you relax as the player. And then your thumb needs to be bent. It doesn't need to be squeezed to be bent. Just slightly bend it and it goes inside the frog here so that it's touching this upper bump of the frog. So I'll show you. It goes right here and then your thumb is bent. Now some students when they are learning their bow hold they will curl their fingers in like this and they'll close the space between the palm and their fingers. And we don't want that because again, that is causing unnecessary tension and we don't want that. Relax your fingers. You should have this sort of oval shape in the palm, but, um, in the palm of your hand and your fingers. You should be able to look through with your eye, with your fingers. And you should be able to see that your thumb is bent. Peekaboo. So when you start to feel your hands, and um, when you start to feel your fingers curl in like this, tell yourself to relax your knuckles and relax your joint. You want to feel like your fingers are like the tentacles of a jellyfish. They're just nice and relaxed, floating in the ocean. Okay. So that is a stable bow hold and there are a lot of different schools for bow holds that you will learn as you get older and as you study longer and there um, are different methods to that but this is a standard um, relaxed good bow hold for a beginner so make sure that your hand is relaxed make sure your fingers are relaxed and make sure that there is some space between your fingers what happens if your hand gets too close, if your fingers get close together, is that it will also cause tension. We want stability as well. So by having a little bit of space between the fingers will allow for that stability in your bow hold.